Good morning. The poem I've chosen for this morning is a poem that many of you may have only ever heard as a song and not as a poem. It was written by Patrick Kavanagh and over the years I've become a great admirer of the poetry of Patrick Kavanagh. And this poem in particular is a beautiful poem. The background to the poem is that at the age of 40, Kavanagh became besotted that went by a 22-year-old medical student who also lived on Raglan Road. And the poem tells of the love affair that never was. Many years later, she, in an interview with RTE, she said that the poet told her, I will immortalise you in poetry. And in the mid-1940s, he wrote this poem, which he first called Dark-Haired Hilda Ran Away. To protect her source of her privacy, he changed it to Dark-Haired Miriam Ran Away. Maybe Kavanagh a bit, was a wee bit like Leonard Cohen, that the poem had to become musical to get a wider audience. But when I always read the poem as opposed to listen to the music, the music flows from the poetry. It's no accident that Kavanagh offered the poem to Luke Kelly of the Dubliners, and of all places, the Bailey Bar in Dublin. He said, Kelly, I've got a poem that you could sing. And Kelly became one of the greatest proponents and recorders of the song together with the Dubliners. So this morning, I'll simply call it Raglan Rose. Raglan Road, not Raglan Rose. On Raglan Road, on an autumn day, I met her first and knew that her dark hair would weave a snare that I made one day rue. I saw the danger, yet I walked along the enchanted way, and I said, let grief be a falling leaf at the dawning of the day. On Grafton Street in November, we tripped lightly along the ledge of the deep ravine where can be seen the worth of passion's pledge. The Queen of Hearts was making tarts, and I not making hay. Oh, I love too much, and by such and such is happiness thrown away. I gave her gifts of the mind. I gave her the secret sign that's known. To the artists who have known the true gods of sound and stone. And word and tint I did not stint, for I gave her poems to say. With her own name there, and her own dark hair, like clouds over fields of May. On a quiet street, where old ghosts meet, I see her walking nigh. Away from me so hurriedly, my reason must allow that I had wooed not as I should a creature made of clay. When the angel woos, the clay he lose his wings at the dawn of day.